Hi, I'm Rich Bonaducci. And I'm Holly Love. And this is Talk 365. On KJAZZ TV. Welcome to our show, everybody. We are so excited to be here, and we have a really fun show for you. Bonaduce, what do you got? I have some news that you can use for reels. It's very good. You, your news you can use is always really news that can be used. I, I try, I try. We're also going to chat later with the owner of Cowboy Cauldron. But before we get to that, I recognize that shirt. Recognize the shirt? That's my Strip Luke. it. That's my Luke Crate shirt. Who's the boy? That's Deadpool, baby. I love him. <laughs> I, I, it's the, I love Ryan Reynolds well, so Well, yeah, that's, that's what you love. Just give me just a sec. Okay, I'm back. That's fine. Whew, that was fun. All right, um, so Loot Crate shirt. Oh, by the way, hello, you have not told me about Comic-Con. I don't, we have not talked about that. It's been a week, I know. It's true. But it was a really busy. big thing, and you are kind of Mr. Comic Con. You did panels, you did, I wish. And, and you know me, I am such an expert. Um, that is true. Like Batman versus Superman. Yes, we'll be that talking about that later this yes, week. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I'll try oh, wait, to hold so it down inside. It? Yes. Oh, you did see it. Loved it. Oh, okay, okay. Do you want me to tell you now or hold it no, inside? No, no, well, no. We're going to wait for Friday because Friday we're going to have Kent Dunn here. And not only are we going to talk about Batman versus Superman, but also Melissa McCarthy's the boss. I love her. And we're going to talk about this whole controversy that the critics think Batman's awful and meanwhile people. Controversy with you at the center of. So, okay, getting back to Comic-Con. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know a whole lot, and everyone knows that. If I didn't have a press pass there, I probably wouldn't be allowed in. Okay. And that's kind of my question, because I get there and I can swing by a panel and I can do things, but I have never really actually stayed because I've always been so busy just working and filming and such like that. So I, I want to break down Comic-Con for people who want to plan and go next time. Okay. We have had so much fun. September, by the way. First of all, people who are just interested, people who are like me, they're kids, it's not like they cosplay or dress up or anything, they're just interested. Is there something special they have to do? I think a lot of people are intimidated by it. Well, the tickets are available online long before it happens. Mm -hmm. And I suggest you get them online because if you think, oh, I'll just show up at the door, you will not, you will not get in. The tickets are sold out way beforehand. Okay, next level would be, like kind of the mid-level person, people who have been, they are to the point where they would like to dress up. What is a cosplayer? When do you become a cosplayer? Is there like a guild? Is there like a SAG AFTRA <laughs> membership that I need to join there to wear a costume? There is an extraordinary league of cosplayers. A league? <laughs> you know, some people are, some people, there's a level of cosplay. Uh -huh. You could just show up in an outfit or with a hat or a t-shirt or something, and you're kind of participating in cosplay a, a little bit. Okay. But then there are folks that go all out and have these amazing costumes. Yeah. Either that they have bought and they augment a little bit or that they have completely made from scratch. Amazing stuff. And they do all kinds of mashups. Like maybe you'll see, I mean, there is a Batgirl, uh -huh. but there'll be a female Batman. She's not oh. trying to be Batgirl. Uh -huh. She's a female Batman. Okay. And long before there was a Lady Thor, don't ask, women will show up as Lady Thors. It's, it's like a, a gender reversal of standard superheroes, but then they'll mash them up too, and they'll have Doctor Who, uh -huh. but he'll be dressed up uh, slightly differently, maybe in a Star Trek outfit, and they mash them up, and they can get really inventive. Those are my favorite ones, where they switch the genders is, and mash up the this stuff. This is when, Holly, this is why I get so confused. You feel my pain, right? Those of you, 99.9% .9 of you. Yeah. But you don't have to cosplay to show up. Just no, when you do, that is that is a next level. Mm -hmm. And and. But then and those cosplayers some of them are, are famous, so famous cosplayers. That's why they yeah. get to be invited to a panel. Like you're a famous, oh, you know, critic, and so they bring famous. you in. Of course. Yes. Okay. So we've covered just your average person who wants to get in there. Get in there. It's a ton of fun. What about people who want to do a little bit more? They want a panel. Maybe they want to meet their fa like a famous person that is coming in and signing autographs. Nathan Fillion is a really big deal. There, there is a thing called a loyalty launch. Okay. That if you've been there before, you thought it was interesting and you want to come back, mm -hmm. you can get a discount if Ooh. you buy it even earlier. Okay. And, and in fact, other discounts are available to teachers, 
students, military. There's even a senior discount for over 60, and you'd be amazed how many older folks go to Comic-Con. And dress up and have, and have a lot of fun. Yep. And a lot of the panels are free. Mm -hmm. So there are levels of panels and uh, is the usually, same ticket going to get you into all the panels? The, the same ticket gets you into a lot of those panels, but again, it's kind of a come early because okay. sometimes, I mean, those rooms can only hold so much. Yeah. And depending so on the person, the pass, you can't get in. Right. may not get in. Okay. Right. Okay. So then we've got VIP. You come, you are decked out. You are a person who is dressed up. You are sponsored. You panel. You meet celebrities. What is that? Uh, that is that is a VIP pass. Oh, look at me! I knew something. Yeah, there there is one called a VIP pass. It's true. Okay. Basically, it's it's the best way to maximize your time at at Comic Con. It it, it includes everything: panels, photo ops, their celebrity booths. Yeah, the VIP basically gets the most perks. They they actually get collectible merchandise if oh. they buy the VIP pass. On the way in, uh -huh. they, they scan you. They put this little, uh, uh, it's called wristband. an RFID. Yeah, it's a little mm -hmm. wristband. And they'll know that, oh, you bought the extras, you get some extra merchandise. You get a swag bag. Yeah, you get a little swag bag on the way in. So, so that's an extra thing that you can do. Okay. But those photo ops and stuff like that, you know, you want to get a picture taken with Nathan Fillion, that costs you extra. But Nathan Fillion from The Waitress. Okay, keep going. Okay, so yeah, but you know, I, I had some friends that got their picture taken with Matt Smith, mm -hmm. right? You know who Matt Smith is. Uh huh. You sure do. And uh, and of course with Kate Beckinsale. Kent, I know her. Kent got his picture yes. taken with Kent, oh, Kate Beckinsale. Which we're going to talk about Friday, and that's going to be so fun. But, anyway. but you have to pay for those, and the and the price is very. Could be twenty five bucks. Could be one hundred and fifty bucks. But yeah, it's easy to get confused because there's so many different ways that you can get involved. Lots of layers of involvement. And we haven't even touched on them all here. There, mm. There's a gold pass for kind of merchandise. There's a multi-pass. Multi-pass. Oh. <laughs> so get on the website, saltlakecomiccon.com, and there's a frequently asked question section, and it is extensive. So get in there, just find out really how much money you need to spend to even get in. Maybe you don't need a gold pass. Maybe yeah. you're fine with, you know, just a regular just ticket or whatever. just want to walk in and go check yeah. it out. But the moral of the story is definitely get ready for the next one. Get online, figure it out, because it is a ton of fun, whether you are decked out or, which, by the way, cosplay. We did. How does that work? We because <laughs> that could be one of the reasons people get intimidated. I was a little intimidated at first, and, and I got dressed up. You did, and you don't have to get dressed up. It's no. a lot of fun. I mean, you can do it, but mm -hmm. you don't have to. And some people go for it and have these amazing costumes. Amazing and costumes. And sometimes they get so good at it and famous at it that they become a, like a thing unto themselves. And they have a panel. They have a booth. You can go there and meet them, get pictures taken with them. So, like so the you Ivy. can just decide you want to be like Ivy from Batman. And then if you really look good Poison and get Ivy. it. Yeah, yeah. Get like a crazy awesome costume. Sure. You'll, you don't have to like join a guild or be like SAG or no, AFTRA, no, no. there's but not like a, a I membership. don't know what ends up happening to the folks that are on the level of Ivy Doom Kitty and Freddie Nova who do this regularly. They go to like every Comic Con as something. Uh -huh. I don't know if they, they're on a totally different level. Maybe you can get there. But no, you can just show up at a, in a t-shirt and just go in and have a good time. Don't let the fact that you're maybe not all jazzed up keep you from going. Yeah, definitely don't. Yeah. We just had a most recent Fan X, which is Fan Experience. It's slightly different from a Comic-Con in that there's less of a focus on merchandising necessarily. There's mm -hmm. still vendors there, don't get me wrong, but it's more of a focus on meeting your meeting Nathan Fillion. It's more focused oh. on guests being there and meeting them. It's really geared towards the fans for that one, fan experience. Okay. But that's, that's the one we just had, and of course we'll have a regular Comic-Con, the Salt Lake Comic-Con, in September. Go to the website, get on it. All right, well, thank you for breaking that down for me. Yeah, it's a lot to break down. Check it out. Don't go anywhere when we get back. We've got news you can use by Mr. Bonaducci, and it's going to be good. Studio space provided by Media Riff. Hey, everybody, it's Holly Love, and I am here with my old friend Todd Summers. Todd, you are now the marketing manager of University Credit Union, and guess what? I just became a member today. Tell them why they should become members. You should become a member, especially if you love University of Utah. See our red color, Holly's red hair, the lips, it's, it's just, it works. Lots of benefits from a credit union. No fees, low interest rates on loans, car loans, friendly local service. Speaking of car loans, 
I have been needing a new car and you guys were fantastic. You recommended that I come here first before I go to the dealer, get pre-approved. I figured out what's going on with my credit, what I need to do to fix it, uh, how much my loan will be, how much I would pay per month in order to get the car I want to be in. You guys were so helpful. I am like prepared, armed, ready for battle to go find the perfect car. There is really just no excuse to not get in here to University Credit Union and join. Become a member today. Like me and Todd. Today's financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union. Welcome back, everybody, to Talk 365. You are about to enter news you can use. My realm. Yes. <laughs> Not really. Brought to you by University Credit Union. That's true. Yes. Yes, today's news you can use is my realm. You're going to have it on Wednesday. Yep. Some beauty stuff. Awesome stuff. Okay. Always. Okay. We'll get to this because this is for, uh, well, do you fly? Do you, you, you travel? All the time. And I haven't as much recently because we've been doing this show pretty consistently. Yeah. But prior to really getting into this, I lived in Utah and I flew back and forth to LA to kind of start to get my foot in the door. And then I moved to LA and I was back and forth between. So, yes, I've flown a ton. So the answer is yes. Yes. Okay. The short so. answer. Yes. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Flying. Flying. You have tips on how to do it faster, better, stronger. Yes, I do. Okay. Have you ever heard of the TSA pre-checked list? No. It's awesome. I just got on it recently. I heard about it through a friend of mine that uh. travels quite a bit. And I don't travel that much, but still, whenever you want to travel, you want it to go as easily as no, it, it, it can. It is when you travel a lot, it is exhausting. Sure. And even when you travel just once or twice a year, it can be really exhausting because you're not used to it. You're not uh -huh. used to how to pack. You're not used to the whole system. The line thing is the worst. The line thing is what we're talking about. The TSA has what they call a pre-check list. Okay. You get on it by basically going to uh, their website, paying 85 bucks, and you apply to be on their checklist that you are pre-checked in. Stop it now. Basically for five years. Wait. Pre-checked meaning they're not going to pat me down, look through my bags, have to take out my computer, holding Quincy Jones, my cat, in his little cat carrier, holding... No? I don't know about the cat part, but all the other part, pretty much. I just cruise through. Yeah, but... Those people who are just cruising through, that's why they get to? They're not like secret agents? When you're standing in line and you're waiting to, to, to even get your bags checked... I hate those people. And you see someone walk yeah. over and they just go, Bleh, and they go right on through... That's pre the TSA pre-check. That's where I am. Yep. yep, I need to be with those people. But so. you do have to do a lot to get on there. Oh. You have to basically be not a terrorist. Oh. Now, I know that's going to be tough for some people, but <laughs> it's not <laughs> difficult for me. Because I have not been, nor uh, how, will I ever be a terrorist. But no, no bombs in your shoes? Not today. Okay. But what you have to do is you apply online. You, you pay your 85 bucks, which is non-refundable, by the way. So if you are a terrorist, you're losing your 85 bucks, too. Because they'll find out. I'm assuming they'll find out. They, like, DNA check you, right? That's the thing. You have to go into this federal office eventually, and you give them fingerprints. You give I them was your joking. No. <laughs> you give them your Social Security. They, uh -huh. they take your picture. Of course, they have all of your info. And they do this thorough background check. And if anything at all comes up questionable, you're not getting on that list. That makes sense. Uh, but if, like me, you're not a terrorist, you're on the list. And you get assigned a special code that you punch in mm -hmm. to various airlines. Now, it doesn't work with every airline. About a dozen of them. And something like 150 different airports. Okay. So it doesn't work with all of them, but it's probably going to help you. Technically, you are pre-checked. And what that also means is, because they trust you now... Because you're not a terrorist. Because you're not a terrorist. You don't take off your shoes. That's you what I was talking about. You don't take your laptop out. Taking off my shoes, putting on my laptop. <sighs> you don't unpack all that junk. Now, I think you're one of the cold. few things that it's you don't so have exhausting. to take off a light coat. That's uh -huh. true. Uh, one of the things you do have to still do is the 311 rule of your liquids. I was going to... Yeah. Dang it's it. still about three ounces. Mm -hmm. You still can only fit all of that into one quart bag, and you can still only have one of those quart bags. I will say this. i got to assume, because it lasts five years, that they don't just check you out once and you're done. 
it's probably consistently being checked. I bet they checked. are continually checking you out to make sure that you are still on the Especially up and up. Especially when you book a flight, I would imagine. I'm you assuming are like, there's, yeah, radar, there's, radar. Yeah, so yeah. If, you, if you don't like that kind of scrutiny, if you're a person that like, oh no, my phone is locked and everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe then this isn't for maybe you. Maybe this isn't for you. But I'm like, I don't care. So well, you're, you're gonna... in the army, and you're the government already knows all about you. They already know all about You've me. Right? You've probably and, been microchipped in prison. I, I probably am. And <laughs> and you know what? I'm one of those. Oh no, they're gonna check my background and find out I'm 50 and I still read comic books. Who cares? I don't care. So uh, they can I care a little. <laughs> Alaska. <laughs> anyway, but so if you're if you're fine with that kind of scrutiny, you can get on this list. Again, eighty-five dollars. It's good for five years, and it saves a ludicrous amount of time. I went from Salt Lake to Philadelphia to visit my folks, and I gave myself the standard amount of time because I wasn't sure what how it was going to work. Yeah. So, but you, the number that they give you, you punch that in on when you're buying your ticket, mm -hmm. and it's printed on your boarding pass. You just flash that puppy. So when you scan yourself in, it tells you, oh, go over the, this, this line And there's over like here. lines. It like shows you where to go. Oh, yeah. And, and usually no one's in it because you just breeze on by, baby. It was amazing. I got in there in so much time. I sat down and went, what am I going to do with this extra hour? Netflix. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or you don't have to kill yourself to get there on time because you know you're so just going to breeze nice. through the security. Especially like LAX or New York where lines are like redonkulous. And, I, and I, I'm assuming, you know. Like big airlines. Like is Philadelphia pretty big? Yeah, Philadelphia I mean, is Chicago, huge. Chicago, Cincinnati, all security. those big guys. Yeah, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't believe it. Now, nice. of course, some of those larger airports, you know, you might be slowed down a touch, but nothing like you normally would. Yeah. And by the way, get on TSA.gov with all of your pre-check questions. They also have a list there of the participating airlines and airports. I, you know, again, I think you should just do it. It's 85 bucks, five years. 15, 17 bucks a year to save yourself a tremendous amount of headache, even if you only travel just once or twice a year. That's that's a yep. financial tip from me to you. Today's financial news you can use was brought to you by University Credit Union, and we have a really cool thing coming up next week. If you email us your financial questions, talk to us, tell us your questions about money, mortgages, auto loans, regular loans, combining interest rates. Anything financial, really. Anything at all. The experts at University Credit Union are going to not only answer your questions, but we'll have a weekly tip that we'll be throwing out at you during our financial news you can use segment on a weekly basis starting next week. So please email us, talk to us. Yeah, this financial tip was from me, but if you send us your <laughs> questions, the experts will be answering your... You have your, a call. I so have a call. You yeah. check that out and you don't go anywhere because we'll be right back right after this with more fun. Today's financial news you can use brought to you by University Credit Union. If you've been looking for alternative health care, imagine coming into a facility where you can meet with someone who specializes in your condition and then takes your exam findings and meets with a team of specialists to come up with a combined approach that will put you back on the path to health. At Integrated Wellness, they have everything from a medical doctor to an allergy specialist on staff. All combined, they can treat conditions ranging from rheumatoid arthritis to allergies, even chronic fatigue. Call Integrated Wellness for your consultation so you can be on the path to wellness today. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Hello, welcome back to Talk 365 and to a new segment that we kind of teased last week that we're really excited about. We're calling it Small Talk because we're talking to, uh, to local businesses that got their start through a loan with University Credit Union. And this time we're chatting with founder and owner of Cowboy Cauldron, Mike Bertelson. He is such a cool guy. It was such a fun thing because we it happened organically, really. We were just going to do one segment where we highlighted small business loans and how they work at University Credit Union, and it turned into this whole awesome experience where talking to entrepreneurs and small business owners and the University Credit Union is now sponsoring this segment so I get to go out and talk with all kinds of business owners. Maybe you. You should email me and tell me if you're interested in being on our show and I can come to your place and we can chat a little bit much like this and I know you're giving me the eye because you want to go too. Rich can go. go too. We're going to go together. You can do the local loves. That makes total sense. But I we know, can both do the small talk. Absolutely. You can local love too. It's all in the same. It's all just basically, we get to go do some really cool stuff because we have really cool sponsors. And this was the start with Mike and the Cowboy Cauldron. Take a look.
All right, everybody, we found Mike and Cowboy Cauldron and Todd. This, yeah. this is the original cauldron. Isn't that cool? It's super cool. Mike, I'm so excited to hear your story because <laughs> you were from all over the place. Yeah. And I just want to understand how you came to owning a business and why University Credit Union and why cauldrons. Okay, so great question. So I left here uh -huh. and went to Washington, D.C. and became staff counsel to the banking committee for a number of years and then became a lobbyist and represented financial services institutions. And one of the things I learned about being counsel to the banking committee is that if you're not at a credit union, you're an idiot because... <laughs> I, I think we can just call I it I wish a day. I could put that on a... <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, from the legal perspective, from the fees perspective, from every perspective that makes any difference at all, Credit unions are the place that anyone should be. And now that credit unions are legally allowed to do business lending, as soon as that was the case, I moved my business to the University Credit Union. That's amazing. And yeah. tell me how you found the Cowboy Cauldron. So as a lobbyist, I was entertaining for a living, as you might surmise. And I was also fortunate enough to be living on the grounds at Mount Vernon, which is George Washington's home. Oh, wow. He also entertained for a living when he wasn't running the country or running a war. Hmm. I am a firebug and I'm also a very avid hunter. And so I was living in this wonderful place and thinking to myself, Mike, come on, you got we need a fireplace. We need something that's beautiful, portable, that's versatile, that is gonna want people are gonna want to spend time around. Mm -hmm. And because I had all things colonial around me had lots of good things to draw from and came up with this. So this is the original wow, piece. This, is this awesome. was actually manufactured to my specs by a mining equipment repairman. Uh -huh. um, and I had to move it home from his shop in a Volvo 240 station wagon. <laughs> nice. So if you can imagine, that ages me a little bit, but you know, hey. And it just became an instant hit among the, probably say the, the cognoscenti, if you will. Um, in my part of the political world and then when I left my buddies saw it here and said Mike that thing is so cool make us one please mm -hmm. which of course I said no way <laughs> I'm not doing that <laughs> <laughs> they're hard make your own uh -huh. um, but eventually two of them prevailed upon me and I made a couple and literally a week later I got a call from a guy in New York hey you the cauldron guy Sure, why not? Who are you? <laughs> and there you go. And that's how it started. Wow. Yep. That is awesome. So how many are you making? Where are you having them manufactured? And how do we how do we get them? They are made right here in Salt Lake City, mm -hmm. for the most part. There are some machining requirements that don't exist here, as you might guess. We did a million dollars in sales last year. We'll probably double that this year. Congratulations. So no, the, growth, the growth has been pretty remarkable. And right now, I'm essentially in the middle of a classic MBA growth management project. They're all made of U.S. steel, which we're really proud of, and uh, hopefully we can keep it that way as the growth continues. So how did you come across the University Credit Union? Well, when I moved back to Utah, I was a Sigma Chi here at the university. I've always had a great affinity for the U. We moved into this neighborhood near the university and thought, what credit unions for me? I know. Crimson red. Nice. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> what color's your card? That's right, right. Todd? That's Always red. That's red. Right. So I mean these things, it's a fire pit, you can cook on it. It is so versatile, just sit around it. And I think in Utah, more than anywhere, it's gotta be a huge hit in Park City and all of the resort towns to have in the backyard to be able to go warm yourself up after yep. skiing and the snow. I mean, I, I think it's, it's such a clever idea. The beautiful thing about these is that they are versatile for starters. We have chefs all over the world now who use them. You can cook wow. inside them, you can grill on them, you can put the fire underneath and use it as the world's maybe largest soup pot, if you will. <laughs> wow. Um, we just did uh, installations for the Four Seasons in both Kona and Maui. Wow. They're doing some really exciting things with them, and we're yeah. asked to appear at food festivals all over the country, uh -huh. certainly, and increasingly all over the world. 
That is so cool. Well, Mike, thank you for taking a minute to talk to us and for endorsing and talking to us about how you found University Credit Union because we, of course, love them. And I love small business owners. I love the entrepreneurial spirit. And yours is definitely strong and you're like succeeding. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. That is just, you're like the best story we could get. Um, and we, can we just load this into the truck for me then? Because knock yourself out. That's what we decided. <laughs> yeah, right? lift that, Holly. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're not that. The two of us could easily do it, <laughs> but I'd prefer to feed back the truck. <laughs> Tell us where we can get one. What do we need to do if we want to get one? Uh, Cowboycauldron.com. Uh, we ship them directly to your home via a scheduled delivery service and. Yeah, get one Famous. sooner or later. Cauldron Envy is real. Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, thank you for talking to us. You're so welcome. Okay, that was tons of fun. Yeah, it was really cool. And tomorrow we have Rob from The Bagel Project. If you don't know his story, you're going to want to tune in because not only are his bagels good, his story of how he came from New York and figured out how to make a bagel here in Utah is just as interesting and fun as well. His story is almost as good as his bagels. Ex Excellent. Thank you for making that work <laughs> That's perfectly. That's what I think. Yeah. Good job. And I really want to cook some bagels in a cowboy cauldron. I really want one I of those. I think we need to. I know. I want both things. That would be so awesome. Right now I want a bagel. Yeah. Somewhere around yeah. here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back right after this. Rob, did Rob Maybe not give there. us any bagels? I don't know. We need to make that happen. Yeah, we do. Rob. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Look, I get it. I get that going back to school is a logical next step. It's a smart move, Stan. I just want to be sure all the effort pays off. Sure, WGU gets that. They create their courses with help from leading companies so you get the skills employers want. So I'm more likely to get the job that I want. Right. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. a boy, Stan. Strong mind, strong money. Innovative, online, and surprisingly affordable. WGU, it's a new kind of view. Set design for Talk 365 is provided in part by Consign and Design. Okay, welcome back everybody. That is almost our show. The chair is not finished, but we almost are. Rich, thank you for all the information on Comic-Con and Fanex and how to do it. Be sure and check out the website, plan early. And- There's plenty more where that came from, by the way. By the way, the shirt, I'm loving it. I'm gonna bring it up one more time. Uh, when are we getting another one oh, of those? Oh yeah, I, I mentioned that- With girl stuff in it, makeup. Well, I mentioned that you get an extra free shirt for signing up for a year, which I did. Uh huh. And that's in, so I'll show that to you later this week. I'm excited. But yeah, there are girl-themed, so to speak, boxes that mm -hmm. you can get from Loot Crate. Well, oh yeah. Well, Loot Crate, and then there's a bazillion oh, yeah. other subscription boxes sure. in the world. If you for go sure. to Pinterest, and type in subscription box, like you'll be there for a day. People are yeah. obsessed with this. It is like the coolest new thing since sliced bread. Or a cell phone. Or a selfie. Or a selfie stick. Alaska. But it is really cool. <laughs> it is really I, fun. I would, uh, you know, it's one of those things where if people say, oh, what do you want for your birthday or whatever? You know what? That's I'll tell the you best what. idea. Give me a minute and I'll find something that I really want. Yeah. And get him a cowboy cauldron. Oh, I'd love a cowboy. We really need one of those. <laughs> we do. I think we, I, yep, we got to include. There's room. I think we could have one. Yeah. And then we could just have like, you know, our fire time at the end of the, end of the day where we put some meat on the barbie. Like Boston Legal will sit. Yeah. And share cigars in front of the cowboy corner. And then we'll have a bagel. And we'll have a bagel from the bagel project. Exactly. Okay. That is, that's Mike. A, that's a deal. We need you to make that happen. That's and a And Rob, who you're going to see tomorrow from the bagel project. We're going to work that all out. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining us on Talk 365. I hope you have a fantastic day.